This is Mose right here, and I would like to share with you something really exciting. I've just found this right here in this Bible in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, that for by grace you are saved through faith, and that on, not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Have you heard that? We have been saved by grace through faith. We are saved by grace through faith. And even that faith is not our own. It is a gift of God. Both the grace and the faith are a gift of God. So no one can boast. No one should boast. For it is not by works. If it were by works that anyone could boast and say, you know, I did this. I prayed for long. I fasted. I waited on the Lord. I read my Bible five times a day or anything like that to be saved. But that's not the truth. The Bible says that God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's in Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Actually says nearby there that while we were still without strength, Christ died for the ungodly. So that just shows you the heart of God. God is not looking for perfect people. God is not looking for people who have got it all together. God is looking for you if your life is in a mess, if you have issues, challenges, past, present, and whatever may come. You are God's own. And he wants to extend this gift of life to you, gift of salvation. What, what, what is grace? Grace is unmerited, undeserved, unearned favor. You just get it. Grace is what God does for us because of who he is. God does not love you because of who you are. God loves you because of who he is. God does not love you because you're lovely. He loves you because he is love. And so by grace, we are saved through faith. So then faith is our positive response to what God has already done by his grace. And he says both of these, what God has done, and what he gives us to respond with, I gift of God. It's like if I give you a new car, I also need to give you the key to be able to drive it. Now, both the car and the key are a gift from me if I'm giving it to you. So that's exactly what God has done. He has given us an incredible, incredible gift of, of God, of life in Christ Jesus by grace. And he has also given us the faith to put that life into action. And so you do not have to worry about whether you think God is glad or happy with you or anything like that. Remember, it's by grace through faith. You simply believe and that settles it. So have yourself a great day and stop worrying about what God thinks about you because he loves you. Do you believe that? Let's do this. Your word is living That's right. in my heart. I hear it daily.